Ladies and gentlemen, very uh, pleased to announce our next presenter tonight is Richard Murphy with the Stair Smart Child Stairway Safety Device. You know? okay, great. Richard. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. Thanks for the, taking the time to come and listen to me tonight. Uh, I'd like to give you the opportunity to present to you Stair Smart, and this is what we believe to be a first-in-class child safety device. Here's basically the problem. Um, and these are three kids, as you can see, in very dangerous situations precariously. And in instances, you notice that there's already a safety gate. Um, this one is particularly interesting. It still has the price tag on it. So the kids managed to get up there really quickly. Uh, and this is a real issue. There is no product that prevents kids from climbing the outsides of stairs, and they can get up to a very significant height, uh, with, even with the price, with a safety gate installed. So. Um, as you can see, basically what you do is you climb on these little flat areas on the outsides of the steps and they hang on the banister and you can get up to a very significant height. And right near in the United States, 93,000 kids a year between the ages of two and five end up going to the emergency room with stairway related injuries, 94% of which occur in the house. So this is about every six minutes a kid goes to the emergency room for falling down the stairs. Um, there is no pre existing product that deals with this issue. And I think there's one point you have to think about here is that unlike rolling down the stairs where a, a stair gate keeps you from going up the middle, when you roll down the stairs it's not this bad. When you fall off the outside, you're, it's a free fall, usually to the very hard surface in the tile in the middle of this. This happened to one of my daughter's uh, classmates and spent a month in intensive care. Uh, after her head was basically hit on, on the floor. So uh, about a third of the houses in the United States have open stairways like this, and from, this is a significant issue. Uh, so we designed StairSmart. It's a guard system that covers the outside of the stairway. It prevents the access to these little protrusions at the end that go outside of the balusters. Also with a vertical mesh that prevents the, the child from getting a handhold on the balusters, which is usually what he does. He holds on and then climbs at the outside. So there's two component. One other iteration actually has a handrail guard, so it keeps him from getting all the way up. Uh, it's designed for easy tool-free mounting. Uh, this is an issue for basically any homeowner. Uh, it's designed so that it's padded and it does not have any issue with um, making any damages to the stairway. This one is designed to be shaded so you can see it a little bit better. The real, we made a model in back, it's made out of clear plastic. We thought having minimal visual impact is really an important point. Most people don't want a lot of things um, around their house. And this one fits, it's symmetrical, so it will fit either the right or left side. And one note is that it really only has to protect the first three or four stairs. Once it gets up here, the, your average kid can't jump vertically two or three feet up to get to the next available staircase. Um, staircases are pretty much consistent and designed under relatively strict rules, so a single design will cover a wide variety of staircases. It's not like where you have to build a custom one for everybody's staircase. Uh, things like tread depth and riser height, these are all very strictly controlled. And it does have a range of basically we've designed it so that it can accommodate a range of your typical rise and run within the scope of existing uh, codes. Uh, it's relatively easy to manufacture. It's easy to manufacture. The shield is formed from low cost, uh, basically materials is polycarbonate, is, uh, it's shatterproof polycarbonate. Uh, it's basically vacuum forming, it can be done. The fabric drape is low cost conventional equipment. And the mounting equipment is also made from relatively standard uh, channels and, and equipment. So again, to, to, and from feedback and talking to people, the, the aesthetics was an issue. So we wanted to make sure that it was clear. This is kind of a photograph of the model. And you can see it goes pretty much as minimal impact as possible. And you could also form the vertical drape the, from clear vinyl, in which case it would be even less. So, there is a significant commercial market. Baby proofing in the United States is a multi-billion dollar industry. The average US homeowner spends about $500 in baby proofing products um, in the United States, according to Home Advisor. And there's three and a half million stairway gates are sold every year in the United States. Um, just extrapolating out, trying to come up with some numbers. Uh, there's four million children uh, born in this, the United States each year, and approximately one third of homes have an open stairway. So it makes about 1.3 million kids are exposed to this year over year recurring. 
Uh, and then some homes have multiple stairways for basements, so we're just assuming one for the moment. Uh, and I think there's also an additional uh, demand from parents who already have toddlers in the situation, so I think you'll get at least a little bit of an initial demand which will develop, you know, go down over time as the kids get older. Uh, I think this is going to be adopted relatively quickly as we come to sort of a zero tolerance for child safety. There's much greater adoption and rapidity of adoption of safety related products. Um, child safety seats have been around for a long time, it took a long time, but newer things like bicycle helmets and things went from, and I grew up, nobody had a bicycle helmet, there was no such thing, and now it's mandated by law. So I think these are types of things that, in culturally, this will be a, a product that would be adopted very rapidly. Um, price is about $40 retail price. We went to ABC Invention Connection in Las Vegas, and um, that was when our conversations with existing um, uh, manufacturers, they thought that was right, with a wholesale price of about 20, cost of goods about $7 a unit. Um, if you project that out, uh, in terms of, of the thing, it makes about a $16.5 million discounted NPV for years one through five. Um, this is, and I think it's pretty conservative, the market share in year three is roughly one-tenth of the sales of baby gates in the United States. So I think this is relatively conservative. This also has no discounting of cost of goods for um, on, scale, on scale. We have uh, US utility applications are on file to cover multiple configurations, both straight and curved. Um, uh, we have the trademark application allowed and our domain name is registered. We've discussed the regulatory compliance with the Consumer Product Safety Commission. They do not see any particular issues here. Uh, the ATSM testing, which is for your standard things in any consumer product, is a relatively minor barrier. Uh, we're looking to potentially, we're open to every, multiple development paths, either to license the entire product uh, or to partner with a major manufacturer who has the ability to get into these distribution channels. Uh, about us, my wife and I uh, came up with this. She was the inspiration for this product. We were both patent attorneys, so uh, we work with small companies here, um, pitch. Um, and uh, so in summary, uh, open stairways are an overlooked hazard with a potential for devastating injuries. There is a significant market opportunity for this first-in-class product. We have a proprietary position through 2035 and the opportunity for a product manufacturer to introduce the first new stairway safety product in many, many years. So, thank you. I'll take questions. What's the dark lower section? That's a shield. Um, it's hard. I shaded it so that you could oh, see it a little bit better. Um, it's, it's tinted so that you can actually see it in this picture. Uh, this is actually mounted to, the, this is an exploded drawing, so it comes together. But that's the shield that keeps someone from being able to have access to the flat area on the outside. It's hard, it's it's hard and, it keep, and it's angled so you can't get a step on it. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard to explain. It, people, you exp yeah, it is pretty solid, so. Anyway, there's one in the back if you want to take a look at it. It's a model that I've, I made that's hard to bring a stairway with you. Yes, please. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's basically made with, with compression. It, it compresses onto the balustrade uh, with a padded uh, types of rails that, that they don't slide. We've tested that. Um, and it's basically just simple fasteners. You can hand tighten it. It's, it's on and off is easy, no marking. It doesn't mark the balustrade or ruin the stairs. That was one issue. Yes, please. It takes about a third, about one meter will cover enough on your average staircase to cover the first three to four stairs. So again, once you get up about four stairs, it's here. So if you've got to talk about a toddler about this big, it's, he's going to have, you could use it, it's, you could have it as long as you want if you really, you could put additional ones together and make it go up higher if you felt like it. So. One more question? Yes. What happened if it's failed in a market? Do you have to buy insurance for your products? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Liability insurance. Oh, liability insurance. I mean, any of the commercial manufacturers of any safety product is, is going to be, you know, it's going to be the standard type of insurance that any manufacturer of child products has to deal with. Very good. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. much.